So how do we actually create a plat and play performance? Well, just like any instrument, it's up to how and what you want to play. Either a recreation of an existing melody, an original piece of your own music, an improvised freestyle, or even a combination of all of them. Everything is possible. And if you already have experience with mixing in key, doing pitch play routines, or even music production, then you should have a pretty good understanding of when things are in tune, or not, and this will really help when working out melodies by ear. For this example, we're going to emulate the iconic melody from Jay-Z, Dirt Up Your Shoulder, which of course sounds like this. And again, we're going to use the control signal tone from our Serato digital vinyl, which is in the note of C, and this is ideal as the first note of the melody is also a C. Music, please. I performed a rendition of this Blatt Play example in my Music Please Elite routine from 2018, and in order for me to learn the notes from scratch, I literally experimented with the tone and discovered all of the notes that make up this melody by ear. If you have access to a keyboard or even a piano app on your smart device, this is also a great way to figure out melodies that you can then take to the RP8000 turntable to perform. So the melody of Dirt Off Your Shoulder is made up of five notes in a descending sequence starting with C. So for this example, we're gonna use the default chromatic scale and I'm gonna slide the pad roll to the left so that I have access to the notes I need in the lower octave below C4. The five notes that make up the melody are C, A sharp, G sharp, G and F, and can be played like this. As you can see, it can take a little bit of practice to memorize the correct sequence to press, as the chromatic scale contains all 12 notes per octave. But for this melody, we're only playing five notes, so perhaps a different scale with less of the notes we don't need might make things easier for us to play it. To figure out what other scales are compatible, you can refer to the Platter Play PDF download from the Relic website, where you can determine if any other scales contain the notes we are looking for, which again are C, A sharp, G sharp, G and F. So according to this chart, I can also play this melody using the minor scale, the Phrygian mode scale, or the Phrygian dominant scale. Let's go with the Phrygian dominant scale for now, which is abbreviated in the display as PHD. As this scale has only seven notes in each octave, this should make the melody a little easier to play, we just have to determine which pads now play the five notes that we need. Once you've figured out the correct sequence to play the melody, you can get more creative by adding scratching as well as some freestyle riffs. If some of the freestyle riffs you play all sound in tune over the music, it's likely that you've discovered the correct scale that the song was written in. Alternatively, if some of the other notes in the scale are clashing with the song, maybe try different compatible scales and eventually you should find the right scale that works. For this example, it seems that the Phrygian dominant is the correct scale that Timberland used when he produced this track. 
To demonstrate some possibilities, I'm going to play a special edit of Dirt Up Your Shoulder as a backing beat and freestyle along with it. This beat is also yours to download so you can experiment and jam with it at home. Let's go.